the United States military has shot down an unidentified object over Alaska, and we understand that the orders to shoot down that object came from President Biden. U.S. officials have not confirmed whether or not this was a balloon similar to the Chinese spy balloon that was shot down last week by the U.S. military off the coast of South Carolina. The White House just gave an update about what's happening. Take a listen. In the case today, we're talking about uh, an object. Again, we don't know a lot about it, but, uh, but that at its altitude represented a potential threat to the safety of flying customers, uh, you know, civil air traffic. Based on your broad and deep experience, who do you think might own or have flown this thing in the air? I have no idea. Good man. All right, we want to go now to our correspondent, Sumi Sumiskanda. She is in Washington following this story for us. Sumi, so we've got the report that the United States has shot down an object over Alaska. What more do we know? Brent, this really is a developing story. So that soundbite you just heard, that is from a press conference with the National Security Council spokesperson, John Kirby. And he is still speaking to the media right now as I'm talking to you. He has been delivering some information, a little information about what has happened. As you mentioned, the lead-in, we have heard that this was a U.S. fighter jet that shot down this object. And that is what John Kirby is calling it at this moment, an object. We don't know if it's a balloon. Uh, we don't know what exactly this was that was shot down. Down, but we know that it was shot down over Alaska. Uh, we also know that this object, according to John Kirby, was much smaller than that big uh, Chinese spy balloon that you also mentioned in the lead-in mm -hmm. uh, that crossed the U.S. last week. Uh, it was roughly the size of a small car. That's what John Kirby said. Now, he was asked when this happened. It happened in about the past hour. He didn't give a, a specific time, but in and about the last hour or so that um, U.S. fighter jets shot down this object. He also also uh, was asked when the U.S. learned about this object, uh, and he said that happened last night. He didn't say exactly when last night, but we can uh, assume, uh, Brent, that uh, that was when the president um, gave orders to the military to shoot down this object. Mm -hmm. He said that uh, fighter jets were able to get up into the sky and determine that this was not a manned object. Mm -hmm. um, that means that that is one of the reasons that they made the determination at that time uh, to shoot this down. It went down in northern Alaska, just near the Canadian border. Uh, and we know that it did cross over U.S. land. Again, that is something that is crucial to know here. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was, again, within U.S. jurisdiction. Um, again, it's important to note here that John Kirby is saying we do not know what this object is. We do not know who was flying it, if it was an individual, if it was a nation. But, of course, um, you know, Brent, the country is on high alert yeah. after that spy balloon from China was shot down off the coast of the Carolinas. Last week, we know also that President Biden came under massive pressure, still is under a lot of pressure from Republicans. There is a committee in the House of Representatives right now looking into the whole episode surrounding the U.S. Chinese, uh, excuse me, the Chinese spy balloon, looking into what happened. He was under pressure for not acting fast enough. Here we see uh, the White House deciding, according to John Kirby, to take very quick action. Of course, this is a developing story. We're going to see uh, if we receive any more information about what this object was, who might have been behind it and why the White House saw it as a threat to civilian air traffic, and it was flying at around 40,000 feet. Right. But at the moment, that's the information we have from the White House. Yeah, that, that's a, an important point to make. 40,000 feet um, is definitely where you may find yeah. commercial aircraft, and that would definitely be a threat to civilian air travel. All right, our correspondent, Sumi Sumiskanda, with the latest on this developing story. Sumi, thank you.